Dispatch called us. So we're headed on an accident. Not really sure what to expect, but we're going to pick up a black Chrysler 200. We got Demry with us. We got Hillbilly and dinner in the back. We thought we were coming for one car and ended up being two vehicles. So we're gonna take the Chrysler 200 first, get it back to the yard, then we're coming back to get the Duramax. Duramax is fixable, so that'll end up being a job. And then the Chrysler 200, it's got airbags deployed, so it's gonna be a total loss. Okay, it's all strapped up. I beat Hillbilly as usual. Just kidding. I started way before him. We're gonna get this back to the yard and get it unloaded and we're coming back for that sweet truck. Accidents are pretty simple. You show up, you talk to the officer in charge, you get the road cleaned and you get it out of the intersection as quick as possible. We're just gonna hustle, get back and get that Duramax. He's gonna pull the e-brake off we're gonna just roll it back into the stall and then we're back out to go get the truck. You hungry? Ooh, yummy. <laughs> you unhooked the winch? Oh. <laughs> Duh. You don't always have to unhook a winch, but it helps. It, it does help. <laughs> Is he gonna be able to get out? <laughs> All right, got one done, one more to go. This one we should just be able to drive on up. Got pools leaking everywhere. We're gonna strap down and get it back. That wasn't too bad. Get my seat belt on. Duramax will be a good insurance job. So we've got a 2009 GMC Sierra here. So we've got the tow. Now we're gonna have the assessment. Then we're gonna be tearing it down, doing the repair work, working with the insurance, getting it fixed, getting it painted, and getting it back on the road. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a dangly light here. So we're gonna be getting that pulled out. We've got the top pad, it's all beat in. Bumper's all beat in. I won't smack that, because I can't reach it. Not sure if the grill's bad or not. That's probably not supposed to be like that. This fender, oh, there's a slappable spot right there. Right there. Fender's gotta come off. Bumper's got to come off, lights got to come out. I don't know if the radiator support's damaged or not, but we'll get inside there and we'll check that all out. So one thing that I'm gonna show you guys on this is this front end is swayed. You can see the gap, the whole front end is pushed over. So this is gonna be going on the frame rack and we're gonna be pulling this one to get that front sway out of it. You can see how hard it swayed. It's got a buckle right here in the fender. See that? Just kinked. Gap's real tight. We got some issues going on with this front end. Look at that, door don't work. The insurance company's coming in the morning to write an estimate, so we need to do what's called a teardown. And then, tomorrow, the insurance will be here. We'll figure out what they're gonna pay for. All right, so this whole front end is swayed. So all I'm gonna take off our sight shield, take off our grill, our upper bumper, our headlight, and our main bumper. And I'm gonna leave the fenders on because I want those on for when we put it on the frame rack so that we can pull everything together. Got the valence off. That dangly light. Pretty simple, it's broken. Now we'll get the bumper off. All right, it's that easy. These front ends just fall apart. Not really, gotta take out all the bolts. I just took all the bolts out and then pulled everything off together. Take a look right here. You can see that our radiator support is completely smashed right here. We've got a little bit of damage on the frame. Our frame horn needs a little bit of repair. This bumper bracket's buckled. Got the fender all messed up. We probably have damage to the, yep, you can see that the condenser's got damage. The intercooler's got damage. We're gonna need to get the radiator out of this thing. It's quite a bit more stuff that needs to come out of it, but we're gonna hold off on doing any more of the teardown until the insurance company gets here so they can assess it themselves and then we'll finish up and do what's called the supplement. So. It is tomorrow. So the insurance came, they gave us their assessment. What we're gonna be doing on this, we're gonna be taking this and putting it on the frame rack. I'll show you what we got going on on the frame rack. It's gonna be a couple days before we can get it over there and get it racked up, but we're gonna be getting it on there, tying it down, pulling it, and then we're gonna be removing the fenders and we're gonna be removing the hood, the core support, all the cooling, and getting this front end frame squared around where it needs to be. We're gonna be replacing all the sheet metal, all the cooling, the radiator support, the front bumper, the headlights, the grill, top cap, pretty much everything in this front end will get changed. We'll go over 
and we'll show you the frame rack. We got a car racked up on there that Pablo is working on. And as soon as he gets that done, we're gonna be switching them out. So let's head on over there. So Pablo's got the door pulled off. He's getting a few dents fixed around. This is a used door that he's putting on his car. We've got the two old doors over here and you can see the car right here. It's a clamping system that holds the pinch welds on each corner and holds that car solid while you do your pulling. All right, so this is the 2013 Ford Fusion. Got it up in pinch weld clamps, getting the center section all pulled out. We're getting the doors put on it so that they fit. This was a pretty hard T-bone hit. We're getting it all pulled around, getting it ready to where we can get all the body work done, get it primed, get it painted and reassembled. You can see on this front door, we got a little bit of damage. These are LKQ doors. What that means is they're from a wrecking yard. It's pretty hard to get parts right now, especially on Fords. So we do what we got to do to get these jobs done without compromising quality. These used doors are really not in bad shape. A couple little shipping dents. Other than that, this will be like new again. So this is what it looks like when we talk about putting a car on the frame rack. We pretty much do this on any, any job that needs any sort of frame pulling or unibody squaring or anything like that. We get it on the rack, we get it in pinch weld clamps and we put our laser on it but the truck's gonna be a lot different. We're gonna be using our fast anchoring system from Chief. It's got rails that the frame sits down on, totally different setup, but kind of the same theory. So we'll be showing you guys that on another episode. We also have our laser measuring system. If any of you are interested in seeing that, drop us a comment. We hang gauges on the whole thing. We use two laser heads that spin and it actually measures the entire underside of the vehicle. It's pretty high tech and really cool. I think we ought to head over to the paint shop. We got a semi over there that we're getting ready. You can probably hear that humming noise. That's our paint booth running. We've got a bedside in there that we just painted. Now we're working on this Kenworth right behind me. Got some collision repair that we got taken care of. We're getting some paint work done. Got some fiberglass body work done on the front fender. We're gonna be painting it in a couple of days. We're waiting on that paint to get here. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Oh, there's big dinner. So this is the fender that we fixed. You can see right here all our primer. We had to rebuild this corner. Cody did the fiberglass work on it and got it primed and prepped and ready to be sprayed. It was all cracked up and busted, so we had like three different spots that had to be fiberglassed. It's looking good again. Got the paint on order like I already said. Once it gets here, we're gonna get this sucker masked up, get it sprayed, and send it on its way. I got a cool one to show you guys, and I wanna know if anybody has ever seen one of these before. Right behind me, I have a 1999 Chevy half-ton two-wheel drive short bed. It's got 49,000 original miles. This this thing's got a chop top, roof's been widened, stretched, formed. We're gonna be custom painting this thing on another episode, but let me know if you've ever seen anything like it. Maybe we'll make an entire episode just on that. For reference, I'm six foot, I can put my elbow on the top of this thing. So it's been chopped a pretty good amount. Look at this old school C-notch. This is the old bolt-in style, still running the rear leaf. I mean, this is all, this is all brand old. 20 years old, but it's brand new. Pretty cool to see old school fabrication work the way it was 20 years ago. We got an awesome painter coming in from Boise that's gonna help me out. His name is Paul Stoll. He used to work for PPG Paint for 35 years. It's gonna be an awesome project. Okay, doing some body work on the storm. Now I'm getting it ready for primer. And for me, it's easier not to look at the door so I'm not seeing where I've repaired so I can feel the highs and lows. It's something that I've done. It just helps out with your finish work. It all comes down to pretty much fill while you're fixing it instead of looking because you, you really can't see a dent or a low spot in this stuff. So you just turn around, look away, and use your fill. Gotta warm your hands up. You almost can't feel the dent. But if you turn away, this right here is too flat. So he's working on getting the contour in it. This way it feels great. But if you look at it and you try to feel what you're looking at, it'll screw with your head. So you turn away where you can actually fill the panel. Right here needs some more work, which is what he's working on right now. And this block helps form to the curve. All right, so now we've shown you what Cody's up to. Let's go see what Chris was working on today. We've got a customer's tailgate that they brought to us. Their trailer hitch hit and slid down. So we're fixing the center section. This is what it looks like when it's in rough mud. It hasn't been sanded. This is his first wipe. Still has to be knocked down and blocked out. We've got a few little dents all over that we're taking care of. I figured while we're here, I'll hurry and show you what it's like to sand a dent. I've got this plastic filler that's ready to be sanded. I've got my acrylic block. So I'm just gonna show you how to sand it real quick and get it ready for glaze. So as I'm sanding, I'm actually making a crisscross pattern to cut this mud down. So you, you wanna brace yourself and you wanna use your panel to kinda form the plastic filler into what you need it to be. So there's not very much on here, it's just a little skim coat. I'm just gonna flatten it out and smooth it and contour it and make it look like there's no dent.
In an ideal situation, you wanna almost sand off all of the plastic filler that you put on. What I'm gonna do next is I'll hit it with some 180 on a DA, I'll eliminate my 80 grit scratches, and then I'll glaze it. I'll sand my glaze with 180, I'll hit that with 320, and then I'll be ready to prime. But for now, that's all I'm gonna show you guys on this dent. Let's go take a look at what we got going on in the mechanic shop. We had one of you viewers stop by. Thank you for that, dropped off some hitch pins and you gave Demery, AKA the boss, an awesome little knife. It has a cool little case. We really appreciate it. This, I'm excited for this. Look at that. Got an entire set of rubber bumpers. It doesn't say who sent this, but thank you to whoever sent this. Next is for dinner. Here you go, dinner. <laughs> it says jumbo. Perfect. Dinner, I heard you like I heard you like cards, so, so here's, here's a card. A card. <laughs> Internet, your friend, Horton. Thank you for cool. All right, this one says a gift for you. Wanted wanted to send you something to show our appreciation for the positive energy and last you give us on the YouTube videos. Thanks, Dinner, from Matt, Colin, Mason, and Dude. Noah. Colleen. So, the last time they sent you a card, I called Colleen Allen and... <laughs> She's Colleen, but not Alan. Says, and now you call her Colin. This says Colin. Jeez. I even wrote a note. Sorry about that, Colleen. I'm sorry. You're now Alan, <laughs> Colin, Colleen. Oh man, look at that. How did they know your sizes and your favorite shirts? Thank you. Awesome. That's awesome. I love what y'all are doing online for the Robbie Layton Nation. I've been following Matt and Paul for a while and love all the big personalities. And now the fun continues with the RLN and my regular mix. When I saw the video working on the more banana hood, it gave me the idea to do something special to top it off. Here's a hood emblem that he made. So next time I see Matt, I'm gonna give this to him. This is from Mike C from Houston, Texas. Thank you. Got a little care package from our friends over at Barnes Four Wheel Drive. They've actually sponsored us on that piece of crap that everybody hates on, XJ Build. So thank you guys for that. We appreciate it. We got some Cartoons Magazine. Super awesome. You guys should go check these out. And they sent the whole crew some shirts. Check that out. Thanks again. And this was actually from Cerakote themselves. They sent us a gun. They sent us some Cerakote trim coat, so we're gonna have to try this out. Headlight restoration stuff, and a note. I would like to say thank you for creating and sharing your channel with us. Found you while watching Fab Rats and Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Your channel is unique and provides insight into your world. I've gleaned a lot watching your show. Thank you again for giving us insight into your world. Regards, John Hansen, Director of Sales. Thank you, John. Over here, a guy named Curly. Hooked us up with 224 packs of Mountain Dew. Hillbilly loves you. He's super excited to drink all 48 of those to himself. We got a bag of gummy bears for the kids. The best gummy bears in the world, but they have to share with the rest. Thanks for the videos from Stephen Whitting in Wisconsin. Thank you, Stephen. We got another one. So we got two bags. We're gonna be eating lots of gummies around here. Leighton team. Wanted to share with you what I believe to be the best gummy bears in this fine land. They're made locally here in Northwest Indiana. Excited to watch your channel grow. Hopefully by the time you get this, you will be past 100K. We hit 100K, thanks to all of you guys. Thanks for the entertainment. Love your channel and what y'all do. All the best, Nick and Sarah Beach. P.S. Happy belated birthday, big dinner. Thank you. Thank you. A little care package from Kaiser Compressors. Thank you for the kind testimonial on YouTube. We appreciate you. Enjoy some Kaiser swag on us. Thanks for sending that. Anybody know who Matt and Colt from Bleep and Jeep is? They saw in one of our videos that we lost a winch line. They got us hooked up. They sent us not one, but two Freedom Winch Lines. This should take care of our broken winch, keep us hooked up so that we can get people out. Oh look, they got you some candy. Thank you, Blink Blink Blink. We got a bunch of stickers. That one belongs on the Jeep. Everybody go check out Bleep and Jeep. They got an awesome YouTube channel. Last but not least, probably the most valuable package we have gotten to date. This package came from Spencer. You are like a gift to us. Look at what Spencer sent us. An entire case of Twizzlers nibs. Num num. Like, you want one? Yeah. You want one? Yeah. Here, dinner. Here you get one. Here, boss. The boss gets one? I mean, you get the rest. Oh, hey, no, grandpa. Want you want one? Sure. And I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna take all of them. So she gonna take the rest. Okay, back on the golden nugget. We've got a lot of stuff we've got to do. We ended up not being able to take this powder coat today. There's a reason for it. Take a watch on Sunday. We've got a few things we've got to do to the frame and I'll explain all that on Sunday's video. You can see we've got it all ready. We've got some metal here for a pretty cool little thing that's gonna be attached to the golden nugget. We'll let you know on Sunday. So that's gonna be it for today. We're gonna get back working on everything. If you liked what you saw today and you wanna see more of this, go check out Sunday's video right here of the golden nugget. You won't be disappointed. It's gonna be right here. Just take a click. Go watch it.